In this video, we are going to cover some of the basic Linux commands. So, which all commands we are going to cover? We will start with pwd, who, who am I, cal, date, history, tab completion and finally power off. So, the first command that we are going to learn is pwd. The point is, if we are using the graphical user interface, you can see where you are working. What I mean is you know which directory or which folder you are in because you can just see that on the address bar. But here I just get a black screen. So where am I performing any of the task or any of the command is executing where. Whatever is the output, whatever is happening, it's affecting which files or which directories. So how do I know that? Where I am actually working? So the very first command is pwd which stands for the current working directory. So you write pwd, press enter. So here you see slash home slash baljeet. So baljeet is the current working directory. This directory is inside the home directory and the home directory is inside the root directory. So the very first slash, the very first slash means the root, the root directory or the root folder which contains everything else. So the root contains home, the home contains Baljeet. All other slash are except for the first one simply means inside the previous directory. Okay. So pwd is going to tell me the current working directory which in this case is Baljeet which is inside home and which is inside root. The next command is who. Who tells you who all are logged in right? which means that which all users are using the system as of now. So if I type who, so I can see that three users are logged in. Baljeet is logged into two terminals tty2 and tty3 whereas the root user is logged into the terminal tty4. By default whenever we start the machine we use the graphical user interface. Alright, so one entry is from that. Then I switched to one of the command line interface by pressing Control Alt F3. So this entry is from that. Then I used another terminal to log the to log in the root user. So this entry is from that. Okay. Let's suppose I go into I press Control Alt F5. Here I log in with root user once again. Now it doesn't matter on which terminal I am, I can run the command and you see now there are two entries for the root also because I have logged into terminal tty5. If I log out from here, from the current terminal, how do I know which is the current terminal? I can use tty command. So this is the terminal number tty5 corresponding to this entry. If I press exit, I logged out, I will go back to one of the user accounts, I will type who, so you can see that entry is gone. If I log out from this account also, so this is which terminal, this is tty3, so this particular user will be logged out. Exit, I will go to terminal number 4 where the root user account is there, the second root user account, I will type who, so you can see one of the other entries is also gone. Okay. So who tells you? who all users are logged into which particular terminal at this point. The next command is who am I. Who am I tells you specifically about the current user. So who am I? This particular user is the root user. I will press Control Alt F3 once again, go into another terminal, log in with the user Baljeet, type in the password, who am I? You can see this is the user Baljeet. If I type who, now I get the entry again because I have logged in with this user again. So this is the difference. Who will tell all the users who am I? Only the current user. The next command is CAL which stands for the calendar. So CAL is going to display you the calendar of the current month with the current date being highlighted here. Alright. 
next command was date, date is going to tell you the current date, pretty straightforward commands. Next, if you are using too many commands, you might have spent 15, 20, 30 minutes. If you want to see what all have you done in the current session, then you can use the command history. So you can see here all the commands that I have recently used, okay. This number is the command number. I can clear the screen by using the clear command. Now many times you do not want, you want to execute the recently used command. So what you can do is you can use the up and down arrow keys to just go into the history. So I can, I am using the up and down arrow keys. So need not to type everything again and again. If you have recently used the command, you can simply use the up arrow key to reach to that particular command. Then at times you might want to give a name. Then rather than typing the entire name, you can simply use the tab command which will automatically complete that particular command or that particular name. For example, I did not type history full, I simply typed H, I and plus, plus tab and it automatically completed the command for me. So this you can use multiple times even while specifying the file names and also by specifying the commands. So once we are done with the entire session, we need to shut down the system. If you are on the graphical user interface, you can go to the icons for the shutdown but here on the command line interface, we have a command power off. Okay, so we can use this command power off, press enter and you will be logged out of the system. If multiple users are using the system like in this case, so you might get such an error which says that the user root is logged in on terminal TTY4. So if there are multiple users who are using the system and one of the users shut down the system, what will the others do? They might be in the middle of a very crucial task. So that is why it is giving me the error. So what I can do is I can either go to that particular terminal and log out. So it is giving me the error on TTY4. So I can press Ctrl Alt F4. So you can see here the root was logged in. I need to write exit. So exit is used to log out, not shut down the system but log out. So root user is logged out now. I can come back to the current user. Now I will not type power off again, I am using the up arrow key, I get the command, press enter and you can see that the system is now shutting down. So I hope that you are comfortable now using the very basic Linux commands. In the next video, we will cover up command structure.